What is up YouTube? It's Luke W coming back at you again today with an awesome quick video for you. I'm going to show you how I keep track of all my Amazon FBA product profits inside of Google Sheets. It's kind of like Excel and it's free to use so I'm going to show you how to do it and you can follow along with me and pretty much mimic the steps I'm doing to replicate how you can keep track of your profits for your Amazon product. So let's go behind my computer and get to it. All right, so we're right here in Google Sheets right now. And just to get here, like I said, it's a free software. You can pretty much type in Google Sheets on Google. You will have to make a Google Gmail account before you do this, but you'll be able to click here and just press go to Sheets. And then you can start creating a document that looks just like this. It's gonna be blank at first. And I'm gonna show you what I do here to kind of put in all the numbers so it automatically fills in the correct amount and basically spits out the profit where I want it when I want it. So to start this thing out, you guys are going to want to put in whatever date that you are starting with here and start that on the second line because as you can see on the first line here, we're typing in our product, our unit sold, price per unit, revenue, etc. And you guys can pause this video and just type in all these things right now before we get any further. Okay, so now that you've done that, put in your product name right below where it says product. And for this example, I'm just doing a necklace. And as you can see, I clicked in the lower corner here and I'm dragging down to the bottom and boom. Now that just populated all of the term necklace for us. That's our product. And for the date, this is really smart. It already knows if I type in May 1st, you can click that and go down to the bottom and it's automatically going to fill in the second, third, fourth, etc. on up to the 31st. Okay. And at the bottom, I like to put the word total and you don't need to put necklace down here. So what we want to do after that is actually put in our basic data. So I'm just putting one here for the first unit sold just as an example, but you're gonna to wanna to put in your price of the product that you're selling it for on Amazon right here. And we don't need to worry about total revenue yet. You do wanna put in your unit cost. Let's pretend this necklace costs us $45 a piece. Again, I'm gonna drag that down to the bottom because that's the same price we spent on our product for the entire month. And the fees, I'm going to leave that blank because we may be changing that depending on if we used a coupon or not. And I'll get to this PPC and everything later on. So all you really need to fill out is the price per unit and the unit cost. So for this example, I'm going to show you starting with May 2nd here. So I can put in, let's say I sold three units that day and the price per unit is still going to be the same. You can even fill the entire column up with that same price because again, that is the same price that we're going to be using throughout the entire month that we're selling our product for. Okay, so $119. Now the total revenue, let's go ahead and drag that down. Now you see that it adapted to how many units I sold and multiplied $119.99 by three to give us $359.97. And how I did that, we can see I can double click here and it says D3 times C3. So you're going to have to put in these equations and you can pretty much copy this off my computer so we can get it done faster. Just copy these equations because it's taking, as you can see, this column and multiplying it by this column. So 119 times 3 is basically all that really is. And to do that, you're going to basically say equals. You need to do the equal sign and then you're gonna press right here. So I'm just saying D4, and then you have to use the asterisk symbol, which is, you know, pressing Shift-8, and then you can now say times this column, and then we press Enter. Okay, so now when this day actually fills up and we said we made five sales that day, now it already adjusts for that equation that we've put in there. And the cool thing is once you put in the equation once, you can just kind of drag it down the whole page like I showed you before and it will update. So if we sold three units again that day, we can just drag it down and then boom, there's 359 in sales. So let's fill out the rest of this thing without getting a little more confused. So the fees guys, let's say you're looking at your Amazon account. I like to click on the balance, that number there, it shows your balance of how much money you have in your account. And then going over to transaction view, you can see exactly the FBA fees that were charged to your account when Amazon shipped out that product. So in this case, we're just gonna say 2347 
and we can kind of just scroll that down for these and I'll touch on the coupon in a little bit. And you have an option for the PPC here, guys, because you can do PPC each day or you can wait like a week and then, you know, come down zero, zero, zero. And then maybe in that one week you spent $40 and then I'll just put the 40 there after a week. So I'm not, you know, checking and putting the PPC in every single day. That's just how I like to do it. And just before we get too far to the right side of the page, I want to show you down here. It shows the number 12. So what you can do is actually, we need to make a sum. So this is gonna calculate, just like it did here, $959. It calculates the total sum of the amount that you put here. And to make that sum, you just press the bottom column, okay? And then you press this sigma symbol. I believe that's the sigma symbol. And then you press sum, okay? And now it's saying, what is the sum? So you're just gonna wanna click at the top and then drag all the way down to the bottom and then press enter, okay? So now it keeps 12 in there, but look, if we sold four again that day, it just added now to 16. So at the end of the month, you can see how many units you sold, and then the revenue as well here, like I showed before, you can drag that down, boom, 479, and it updated down here. So let's keep moving along here. I'll just keep the fee the same there. Now to the coupon tab, this is where I said inside your transaction view on your balance inside of Amazon Seller Central, you can click on that and see Amazon will change the fees that it's charging you based on if you used a coupon or not because they're gonna charge you less fees if your product was selling at a lower price. So that's something that you can come in and you may wanna change up the fees based on if you used a coupon or not. And depending on whatever that coupon is, you know, you can drag that coupon down. You can change it. If you didn't have a coupon that day, you can erase it. And maybe your fees were, you know, $25 that day because you didn't use a coupon. Okay. So I hope you guys are all following along with that so far. So for the total cost column, we're going to come in and do another equation. Again, starting with the equal sign and we'll press the unit sold. And we're going to do a times, which is again, the asterisk symbol. And then we're gonna do a parentheses and we're gonna multiply pretty much the units we sold by the unit cost plus the FBA fees plus the coupon. And then we're gonna close that out with another parentheses and press enter. So we can see our total cost is right there. And now that we have that equation in, we can pretty much drag it down for how many days we've filled out and it updates right there. Again, I like to put the sum of all this stuff at the bottom. So what I do to do that, again, is pretty much pressing the bottom. I press the sigma sign, press sum, and then you just drag from the top down to the bottom and press enter. And that's going to update with that. I do that with my PPC, my total cost, and I just like to have all the numbers that I need down here at the bottom. doesn't look like I did that for the coupon, so I'm just going to go again, sum, and I will just drag down to the bottom and press enter. Okay, there we go. So moving on to my favorite column, the Amazon profit column, we're just gonna wanna double click. I already have the example filled out here. So what I'm gonna do is press the equal sign and the total profit is gonna start with our total revenue minus the total cost and we'll press enter right there and then that'll spit out my profit. We're just taking the revenue minus total cost, and since the equation's in, now I can just drag down to the bottom, and that's all set. Now I got my profit per day right there, and whenever I put in another unit, I can say, okay, I sold 10. Let's just drag that down, and we'll drag down the fees. We'll say I used a coupon again, and total cost is again gonna be 785, and the profit if I sold 10 that day is $415 based on the numbers I put in here. Okay, so the total profit, this is pretty much all you need to have at this point. You don't even need a total profit. I actually on my other months here kind of have multiple other columns and I'm hiding them at the top here. You can see, I mean, I sold 210 units of my product at $119. I'm hiding the side where it shows, shows my product name. And I changed up the different fees, as you can see here, $22, $23, based on what product price I was selling it at or if I used a coupon. 
And I kind of threw in some other products I had here. My Amazon profit column is right here, 11 grand in one month. That was uh, the example for February. And I mean, I did this, I do this for all my months, guys. Here's January as well. And I do throw in my course profit here and I throw in miscellaneous income. So if I ever make some miscellaneous income from affiliate sales or, you know, I mowed someone's lawn, you know, I can put in extra money here. And then I have my total profit column, which you can see is the equation of my total Amazon profit plus my course profit, if I had any, plus my miscellaneous income. And that leads that to be that number right there. And that's just pretty much how I like to lay it out. So in our example, uh, this is as far as you guys really need to do it. Um, the returns column is also important. You know, if you had a return, I just put in the product price I had $45 and it'll show up right down here because, you know, again, I do have the sum of this already filled in and my total profit is actually important. I'll just fill this in just in case, because you guys do want to see, I do make the total profit. That's going to be minus our returns minus our PPC and then we'll press enter. So then now that's going to erase, you know, if I have a hundred dollars in returns there, boom, that just changed it right here because now this equation is reading. It's also going to keep track of my returns and my PPC at the end of the month. Maybe it was like $60 and boom, now I'm at $8.99. So it's really important to keep track of your returns and your PPC so that you know at the end of the month you are still profitable. So I really hope this video touched base with some of you guys and you're able to use this for free. Uh, you can pretty much, you know, fill it out for the rest of the month. Let's say we had a big sale, 30 30 sales, it's going to be hard on your own to keep track of all this inside of Amazon because they only let you know each time they ship out a unit what your real profit was on that. So, you know, it's a little harder to see, but when you come in here each day and you know exactly how many units you sold, you can just th see what your total cost is and there's your Amazon profit and your total profit there and you just fill it out just like that to color grade some of the bottom things here. You can see I have painted that uh, green and for this one, I've painted it red. So you guys can kind of play around with this on your own, add in any other columns of additional income you guys make. And uh, with that said, I just want to let you know, again, I hope you like this video and please drop a thumbs up on it. I'd love for you to maybe even share it with any other friends that are trying to keep track of their income. This is what I use for tax season and I can see what I do here. You can even make another list if you have, you know, your inventory costs and maybe you want to put your inventory, your PPC, all your advertising on one extra, you know, spreadsheet. And I learned this stuff from YouTube myself, but it's really simple if you know how to put in the equations starting with the equal sign and, you know, putting in the sigma to do the sum of everything. It's all easy. So... Without making this go any further, that's it guys. Thank you again and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.